Using the pivot table feature, we need to create this yearly report that shows sales, year over year change, and percentage year over year change, given that our sales table has daily sales. Now, last video, we saw how to do this with worksheet formulas. This video, we'll see how to do it with the pivot table feature. We have a single cell in our proper data set selected. We go up to Insert. There's the table group. Click on the Pivot Table button. I want to put this on an existing sheet location. I'm selecting F2. Click OK. Over on the right, we see our pivot table field list, Sales, Date, and Compressor. Those are the three columns we have in our data set. Our goal is to get years and then make the calculations for each year. We take our dates, and that column is filled with daily dates. And when we drag it down to rows, something magic happens. It automatically groups it up by year. Now, if you're in a version that doesn't automatically group, you'll see daily dates. You simply come over and right click and use the grouping feature to manually select whichever groups you want to use. Now, we don't need quarters, so I'm going to click and remove it. Same with dates. We see there's a new column over here, years. There's our years. The magic of the pivot table gets even better. When I drag sales down to values, I get total sales for each one of the years. Select the top column. We're going to rename the label. I'm going to indicate the unit in the header. We would like to format all of these numbers. And because it's in a pivot table, we select a single cell, right click, Point to number formatting. We're going to select number, comma, zero decimals. Click OK. Now we made a sum calculation on total sales. Now we drag sales down a second time. It did the same default adding based on our year. We want to change the calculation. So right click, summarize values by, changes the aggregate function that makes the calculation, or this one, show values as. We come down to difference from. We only have one field in the row area, so the base field is automatically selected. We don't want to use the base year 11. We want to select previous. And when I click OK, just like that, for 2011, it took current year minus previous year and gave us the difference. Select column header. We'll say year over year change and Enter. Right click, number formatting. We'll use the same settings. Sales again down to values for the third time. Right click, and this time we'll select percent difference from. Same settings. And this time, it automatically added the number formatting. We'll select the column header, percent year over year change. And there's our finished report. Now, if we think back to what we did last video, it's much easier to create this type of year over year report using a pivot table. Looking back at what we did last video, I want you to look at the 2018 total right there. If we come to the data set, we're going to change this to a really big number and watch what happens to that number right there and the subsequent calculations when I hit Enter. Enter. They instantly update. Creating a report like this with formulas is more difficult to create. But when you want your report to instantly update when source data changes, that's when you use formulas. If we make the same change in our pivot table data source, watch what happens when I hit Enter. It doesn't automatically change. To update our pivot table, we right click, refresh. That's not hard to do. So remember, if you use a pivot table and source data changes, be sure to refresh.